again. Well, it's still my birthday. It's a bit later on. I'm wet through. It's uh, it's only 5.35 p.m. My mum and eldest brother and her dogs went um, sometime after midday. And I had some lunch and I thought, I know, I'm going to walk into town. And instead of being sensible and putting my walking shoes on, I put my um, smart shoes on. So um, <laughs> my feet are hurting a bit now. But I didn't even bother to check the weather forecast, you see. It was fine and warm and sunny when I walked on the way to town. Had to take my jacket off. But coming back, it started raining a bit, you know, bit, 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 little spits and spots. I thought, that's fine. Because I'd already developed a little bit of sweat here, you know. Um, and I thought, oh, that'll disguise it. But in the end, it absolutely peed it down. And I'm soaked now. I'm going to have to take all my clothes off. Soaked through to the skin. Anyway, I went into town. I uh, didn't really buy much at all. I went into this independent electrical shop that I'd seen earlier when I was out with my mum. And um, I had a look through the window when they were shut and saw they had some SIBOs and things. So I went in there. Um, I was the only customer. It's a bit embarrassing. I hate I hate being the only customer in a shop. So I sort of walked around, looked at the vacuums and had a bit of a walk around. Saw the price of the vacuums because I was contemplating I might have bought one and had it delivered. But when I saw how much they were, I thought, no way am I spending 50 to 100 pounds more to get a vacuum from an independent retailer, you know? Well, something's flashing. Why am I flashing? Oh, I've got four minutes left until I need to... Uh, take the stuff off the car, off the SD card. So um, I just had a quick look, had a chat with the bloke. Um, I was obviously more knowledgeable than he was. <laughs> so I just made my excuses and um, left. Had a bit of a walk around. I just, I spent four pounds. Oh yeah, anyway, it got me out of the house. So I'm absolutely whacked now going to have something to eat. I haven't opened my birthday presents yet, so I'll be doing that shortly. Oh, isn't that typical? It stopped raining. <laughs> I bet it stopped raining just as I arrived. Anyway, now <laughs> I've got this for um, my birthday dinner. Now, I've no idea what it's going to be like. It's gluten, wheat, milk and egg free. Mac and cheese made with macaroni pasta and a cheese flavour sauce topped with a cheese alternative and parsley. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm that hungry. I might just, well, I'm going to have to eat it, but if it's not very nice, um, I'll have to find something else. But anyway, my mum got me that, so I'll, I'll probably have that quite soon. Might open my birthday presents first. The dogs were fed before I went, so... Um, I haven't been out that long. Have our dogs? Have you been good? It's a bit quiet here now, isn't it, without the others? So, yeah, I'm gonna get out of these wet clothes and um, get changed and then see. Well, I know what mainly my presents are because I bought them myself, sad man that I am. Oh, hello. Well, I'm in my scruffs now. There's no point in getting dressed up, at least I'm dry. And it's it's you, you don't mind if I'm looking a bit scruffy, do you? Hey, Hello, Daisy. Sun's come out, hasn't it? So I thought I might as well take advantage of the natural light rather than having to set the lights up. Oh, Daisy's all sniffy because I went to uh, my brother's house yesterday down the road because I'm um, watering some plants because they've gone with my mum. And they've got three, three dashuns, two wire-haired and one uh, uh, long-haired. And they're all over me. And so when I came back and I, they, I was wearing this, and they can still, Daisy can still smell it. They're all very excited. Right, so I'm going to open a few bits and bobs. I know about most of them. Um, and then I'll have something to eat. And then I'm absolutely whacked after that uh, long walk into town. Uh, well, it was longer than normal because um, as I was coming out of the road, there was a group of youths. Well, there must have been about eight or nine years old, but it was three of them. So, you know, I was a bit scared. So instead of going the way I should have gone, I took a detour and, and I think that detour took me an extra mile. <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, coming back was quicker, but by then I was absolutely uh, cream crackered, as they say. Oh, the sun's gone in a bit, but you can still see what I'm doing, can't you? Right, I've only got 25 minutes left on the uh, doobry. So uh, let's have a look what I've got for my uh, <clears throat> something, something birthday. I won't say how old I am. Right, well, I've got a card from my mum, I'm assuming. What's the, what's the betting that it's uh, a card with dogs on it? Oh, <laughs> it has got dogs on it, but that's rather funny. Yeah. It's from um, a cartoonist off the leash. And there we go, look. The pre-wash. Dog owners with dishwashers may know what this... They don't do it. Molly and Daisy don't do it at my house. They haven't got into the habit of doing that, but they certainly do it at my mum's house. Whenever you open the dishwasher, the dogs are there licking the stuff. Oh, I've got some pennies for my mum. Two... Happy birthday, Roger. Have a great day. Lots of love from Mum, Ellie, Millie, Evie and Molly. So, oh, let's see all, all this cash. 20, 40, 60, 100 pounds, Mum. Well, thanks to my Mum. She won't be watching this. 100 pounds to spend. I don't know what I'll spend. I do most of my shopping online. But anyway, that's 100 pounds. That's good, isn't it? It's normally 50. Well... And I got this card sent. I, I think I know who it's from. It's from uh, Mr. Faceache. He won't be watching this. He probably calls me far worse. And quite rightly too. Just check it's not rude. Oh, dear. He's a bit boring. Oh, we just actually put love. I thought I just saw best wishes. Love and best wishes from Mark, Molly, and Daisy. Nothing. Well, oh, this is something I bought myself. Oh, I know, Playmobil. I'm an adult grown man. This goes with a cruise ship, which I might have also bought myself. This is a stage, and it lights up, and you can. You can pretend to sing on it. There we go. Um, this is just a box of random bits <laughs> I got from a, a company that I'm sort of boycotting, but I've sort of lapsed for one one purchase, one box of stuff. I needed some bags for my Felix, Sibo Felix, so I got those. This is just um, an overnight nourishing mask. This is how I keep so young looking from a company called Barefaced. It's quite good. Um, I only use it once a week. Normally on a Sunday night, I use their face pack that does smell like sewage. And then I rinse that off in the shower. And then when I, fresh from the shower, when I'm still moist, I slather that on and go to bed and wake up 10 years younger. And I've got a couple of shower gels from a company called Man Cave. That's cedar wood. I've not sniffed it. Let me have a sniff. Oh, it's taped up look hmm quite pleasant and another one lemon and oak shower gel of course they're a uh, vegan vegan friendly cruelty free this is just a little thing that goes on my new microphone i bought my um blue i can't remember the company's called blue I can't remember the, the name of the mic anyway that goes over the top of it it's I can't remember what they call those oh and I've just got some bags to go with the AEG that I've been using in the loft because the bag's full and I didn't have any spares here so I've just got some of them and this um I don't know what the whole album will be like this is a um I think they're called yes the band is called Cigarettes After Sex. And the song I liked from this is Apocalypse. Check them out. Anyway, I decided I'd get that. I don't like to buy downloads. I like to have the physical thing. And then, of course, I'll um, put it onto my iPad. Now, this came 
My partner said to me in on the way, oh, what do you want for your birthday? I thought, well, <laughs> I didn't really mention anything. I thought, that's a bit late to be asking. I said about John Lewis vouchers because, well, they sell molten brown and I fancy a bit of molten brown. And um, they also sell a light. I said, oh, there's this light I've been after, um, this uh, decorative light, but it's £75 and I've been wa waiting until it goes in the sale. I wouldn't pay 75 So I've been checking on it um, on a regular basis. But I thought I'm not... I'm not going to spend £75 on a light. But it looks like somebody has. It's a ridiculously expensive thing for what it is. But anyway, it's appropriate for me, I think. Let me just hide all those details. Oh dear, what? Honestly, John Lewis. On air. So it, it basically, I think, looks like one of those old fashioned lights they used to have outside studios, you know, that said, that lit up on air. So I just think it's just a little novelty light to have on, possibly in the background, you see. Huh. And you can't change the bulbs in this, so if the bulbs go, that's it. Whoops. Oh dear. Oh, look at the sun. Can you still see me? That's it. Oh, this, this, they do lots of different lights. Molly, are you? Molly's uh, been going after the, uh, the birds and the squirrels in the garden. It's very annoying. Hecky thump. <laughs> right, I'm going to pause this because I'm going to be all day opening this. Well, there we go. It's back to front um, in my viewfinder, but uh, you should be reading that as on air. And that lights up. It's made of metal. Perspex uh, front. It's got a plug on it. I don't know if there's an on off switch. You can put it on the wall. But honestly, it's not worth seventy-five pounds. So I've have I have been after it for a long time, but it's a ridiculous amount of money for what that is. That is John Lewis, you see. John Lewis never knowingly undersold. I think their slogan is right. So that's that. So yes, that's nice to have something I probably wouldn't have bought myself because of the cost. Had it gone in the sale, of course, then I would have got it. Oh, this is just some bits from Berry. Some clothes. Not that I needed any. And I certainly didn't um, need any socks, but I think there is some in here. Uh, I just got a new wallet. Most of these are in the sale. Oh. That's all right. It's got a bit of bit for coins there. That's useful. Not that I ever have much money in it, <laughs> in my wallet. I don't carry money. I'm like the Queen Micro Pack. V by Very. I don't think it's leather. I didn't want a leather one. I think it smells like polyurethane, pretend leather. I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it is not real leather. So there's a little wallet. I need more socks, I can need a hole in the head, but people expect me to show socks, so they're a bit, they're all blues, aren't they? Blue colours, but they were, they were again reduced, and I also got discount as well, so they're even cheaper. Oh well, I'm sure you want to see my underpants, but just some black Y, not Y fronts, just some black briefs. Now these are size large, but I am a small in most things. I, I, take, I take a 32 inch waist in jeans, but I like, I don't like a very tight pant. These fit nicely being a large, but they're not sort of squeezing my testicle, 
you know i like my i don't like the looseness of boxers where everything's flapping about in the wind i like to be contained but i don't want to be you know squeezed all day i like to be gently cupped and that's why i buy you know larger size underpants than i need right <laughs> Oh, I've just basically got a load of t-shirts. Oh, it's boring. But they're just t-shirts to brighten me up. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get some sun when we go to the Isle of Wight in September. So, a mint green t-shirt. Oh, that's a long sleeve black polo shirt. A teal green t-shirt. And I think that's a sort of Air Force. Air Force blue t-shirt. Oh, and what's this? Oh, and this is a... Again, this is in the sale and they've got discounts so and i buy v from very is their own brand and i buy a, you know a lot of their stuff they sell is for young kids young men and i think the v stuff is a little bit more age appropriate for me so it's like their own brand and i found them to be you know pretty good quality especially and you know good value especially at discount prices all right something else i bought from uh, very for myself again because it was reduced and again i got extra discount i don't know if i'll ever have time to open this i've got absolutely tons and tons of playmobil that i suppose i've got that other channel roger's box of delights that's got playmobil on it because i sort sort of collect playmobil but it um, ebbs and flows my interest for Playmobil. Let's get this out. This is a cruise liner <laughs> of all things. Come on. Oh, heck. The sun's going in and out, which is going to ruin the lighting here. But anyway, I'm just having a little chat with my few viewers on this channel. There we go. Oh, heck. Oh, all needs assembly. I would like to make a video of that. So it's a cruise liner. Doesn't actually float. But it's got uh, a captain and a family. You can get uh, another set with another t couple of crew members. There's an internal pool you can fill with water. There's a couple of bedrooms, the toilets. Uh, of course, there's the, uh, what's that called? The brig, that thing. There's life jackets and all sorts. Life lifeboat there. Only one. So, there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Oh, yes. One last thing that I bought myself. A birthday for me isn't a birthday without a particular appliance. You've guessed it. I bought myself a vacuum cleaner. And... The vacuum cleaner I've decided to buy, a brand I don't often buy anymore, but I decided to try a Vax Blade. This one is the 32 volt version. They do, I think it's a 24 volt one as well. And this is called the, uh, the Ultra, the Vax Blade Cordless, Cordless, Cordless 32 volt Ultra. I don't know what makes it any different ultra anyway but i've also bought which i forgot to show you but i'll, I'll show it in the um when i do the proper unboxing because i'm not going to show you this in this video i'll do a separate video obviously on my other channel i bought the separate toolkit which is a hose and a flexible crevice tool um oh great big spider uh so that's what i decided to buy myself normally get myself a vacuum and I thought, well, let's try the Vax Blade. It is, um, it actually outperforms, according to the Witch Consumers Association Witch, this, the Vax Blade outperforms the Dyson V8 on deep cleaning carpets. And it almost got a Best Buy, the Vax Blade, apart from the allergen retention isn't very good. The filtration on it isn't very good. So that's the only reason, apparently, that they didn't give it a Best Buy had it had better filtration they would have given it a best buy i think but considerably cheaper i think this is about 170 and then i got a discount i think i paid about 140 for this so that wasn't bad uh, it's got 45 minute runtime 
but that will be without the uh, the power head. But it doesn't have a small motorized head. It's just got the main main power head, which you can fit directly to the unit. It's always looked a little bit big and bulky in the hand when I've seen it in pictures and uh, on TV commercials. So uh, we'll have to see how that performs. So I'll be uh, unboxing that sometime uh, in the next few days at my mum's house, but you won't be seeing that probably this until September or later on my main channel. Well, I think that's it. Nothing exciting really, but I don't really make a big fuss of birthdays. Yeah, to me birthdays aren't, nothing special I've never found them to be hello darling and uh, yeah this is the first birthday since 1986 that I haven't been at my mum's old house and normally I've been on my own every single birthday for years Obviously, my mum and my eldest brother were here on my birthday in the morning but um, it's always been the case that my mum and when my dad was alive, they used to go on holiday for some reason in June around my birthday time. So even when I was living at home, I always have my birthdays off. If that week my birthday falls, I always book that week off work. I couldn't bear to be at work when it's my birthday. And so I was always at home alone on my birthday, spent it quietly on my own. Um, I might go into. I might have gone into York on my bike back in the day and treated myself. And I'd normally have some things to open. Oh heck! I've just remembered. I've got something else to open. I was going to say I normally have something to open for my pen pal Sue and her sister Mandy, and I've just realised I've got that. So I best I best go get that and open it. Oh yes, that would have been uh, terribly amiss of me. I've had to un partly unwrap the box had my address on so this was sent to my house and obviously I knew I'd be here so I brought it with me and I did actually start to open it because I get so much delivered and then when I saw the cards at the top I thought oh heck yes that's from Sue and Mandy so here we go a couple of cards and that to me that looks like my favourite place. I don't know where exactly that is. Oh, it's Thirlmere, I know now, because it says on the back that's in the Lake District. Uh, to Roger, happy birthday, have a lovely day, love Mandy. There you go, thank you Mandy. I think Mandy will probably be watching. Sue and Mandy, my first audience. So this will be from Sue. And Sue and Mandy have got a birthday coming up. I think it's a biggie, I'm not gonna say how old they'll be. And another picture. Again, it's Thirlmere in the beautiful Lake District. To Roger, wishing you a very happy birthday. Lots of love, Sue. There we are. So, what have we got in here? Oh, all sorts of things. Oh! Lots of vegan treats. I'm going to be huge. These, oh. Look at the size. They cost an absolute bomb, I think. Cracky. Lovely. Vigo bars. These are the big ones. I won't be eating that in one sitting. <laughs> oh, yes. Molly's got a nose in. You won't, you won't be interested, Molly. They're vegan. So two hazelnut uh, chocolate bars there. Yummy, yummy. And this is Livia's. Is it Livia's Kitchen? Raw Millionaire Bites. An oat base with gooey date filling topped with a layer of raw dark chocolate. Of course they will be, I'm sure, vegan. Everything will be suitable. Free from dairy, gluten. Yummy. Vegan. They're vegan friendly. They're friendly to vegans. Lovely. And another from Livia's Kitchen. Oh, Almond and Raisin. Raw Millionaire Bites. Ooh, Raw Millionaire Bites, Molly. Ooh, look. <gasps> vegan Bakery Sweet Crunches. They've actually got the vegan mark on them. And they're made in Germany. 
I don't know what uh, they're just sort of like um, sugar topped buttery type biscuits without the butter I expect all my things flashing how long have I got four minutes quick I've only got four minutes Molly so there's some nice biscuits oh and some koala gummy bears from uh, goody good stuff they say vegetarian I think they'll be okay Yes, it'll be all right for vegans as well. Oh, yes, I've got vegan on as well on the back. And some summer peaches. Get your nose out, Molly. Some more summer peaches. I'll take a photo of these and put them on Instagram. Oh, these, I've had these. I've got these from Ocado. These are nice. Sort of oaty, coconutty, snowball type things. Oops, yummy. And then that's it. Oops. That nearly hit you in the face, Molly. Keep your nose out. So there we go. Some lovely vegan treats. There goes the diet. Thanks very much, Sue and Mandy. Well, that's it for my birthday. I think I've shown you enough. Had a nice walk with the dogs. Um, decided to have a long walk into town. Oh, stop your moaning. You're not having any of it. Been very quiet, so now I'm going to finally have my uh, supper. It's getting that sort of time now. Watch something nice on the TV. I don't think I'll be doing anything today. But tomorrow, it's knuckle down because I've got to start preparing that kitchen for decorating. So by the end of Sunday, it all should be prepped. And hopefully, I'll have got some of the undercoating done. But I'll be taking you on that journey, if you're interested, in tomorrow's video. So see you then. Thanks, uh, Sue and Mandy, again for the lovely vegan goodies. And uh, thumb up the video, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.